Hi everybody, my name's Connor McDonald. Follow me on Twitter for information about SQL, analytics, and of course, Ask Tom. This is the next video in the KISS series, keeping it simple with SQL, focusing on analytics. These are short two minute sessions designed to help you solve real problems, not just wander through the syntax. In this session, we're gonna look at some of the extensions available to lag and lead, the two functions we introduced in the previous video. A quick recap on that previous video, we used lag and lead to solve quite a complicated problem. When we looked at the raw data, we had for a particular order ID, a row for every single date that the order came into existence until it was delivered, and a row for every single date indicating its current status. We wanted to collapse that down to a desired result of just when the status changed and the from and to dates for that particular status, as we can see there on screen. We did it with quite a complicated SQL. The first thing we did is we calculated the lag and the lead of the status, partitioning by order ID and ordering it by status date. We looked at the boundary conditions. When lag status was null and lead status was null, they were the two boundary conditions for the order, and also every time the status actually changed. The lead status does not equal the current status. We wrapped that in an inline view, and we did get our desired result. Today's requirement is we're going to revisit a similar example we did in the windowing section. That is, I have an external table scan from a departmental report, fill in the blanks and give me the employee counts. So here is our raw data, and as you can see, at the right, the department number, because it's been scanned in from, say, a formatted report, it has some nulls, and the intent is that the department number should simply flow down through the table, filling in blanks as we go. First thing I'll try to do is do it with a lag function. If I do NVL department number, lag department number, what I'm saying is, if the department number is present, let's use that. If it's not present, let's pick up the previous one. That seems to match fairly closely the text of the requirement. But when I run the query, I sort of get the answer I was after, but there were still some nulls present. The reason for this is we look at the raw data as I put there in red. When we hit row one, we had a department number and we used it. When we hit row two, we didn't have a department number, it was null, and so we used the previous row using lag. But when I hit row three, the same situation occurred, but the previous row, row two's value, its raw data was actually null, and that's what lag used. And therefore, we didn't actually fill in the blanks all the way down. Just like the windowing clauses, last value and first value, lag and lead have ignore nulls extension. So let's plug that in. We use ignore nulls, and there we have the result we were after. Department number filled in for all rows, and we can easily group that now to get employee counts. You only get the ignore nulls extension for lag and lead once you're on 11.2 and above. So make sure you're on a currently supported version of Oracle. You can run these scripts yourself by clicking on the live SQL link below. In the next session, well, we've done enough of the functions, we've done enough of the formats. Let's go free range. We're gonna look at some more interesting examples of using analytics to solve what would apparently be complicated problems, but they'll be easier to solve once we start using analytics. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget, to keep it simple with SQL, we'll see you all again soon.